Welcome everybody to Falcon Place Emerge Cities of the Apocalypse. This right here is a game I am so excited to be playing for you because I initially saw this about like two weeks ago. I was really instantly hooked by the moment I saw the screenshots of it. I reached out to the developer, the developer sent me out a key over here to test it out for you guys, and I played it a bit off camera to get comfortable with it, and I am already loving the game. This is essentially a more advanced and more in-depth version of maybe Rebuild. There's a lot more strategy involved. There's a lot more interaction. It's also like actively like um, engaging because you will be actually fighting zombies in a somewhat type of like real time event. And not even just zombies, but there's gonna be a bunch of different enemies. Speaking of the enemies too, um, you will start off with just your typical zombies, walkers, crawlers, rotters. But then as you progress with more of the campaigns or progress further into the campaign, you'll start running into different type of mutants and different enemies in general. I do believe the game has at least 18 different enemies. So you start off with maybe two or three, and as you progress further and further there's a lot more enemies which is actually really cool because you know that's really awesome about games when they have a multitude of different enemies to deal with over time as opposed to just the same old zombies just walking towards you and shambling towards you but I've talked enough I'm really excited about this let's go into new game and start a campaign over here and get the ball rolling uh, unfortunately this is gonna be procedurally opening up for us what this means for us is that we'll start off with a small map and then we'll unlock a medium map large map etc etc so we do have to start off with the small one which is gonna be the Coleman Scop map size small in order to secure this area we need to capture 20 sectors right off the bat as you can see over here you get to choose your character um, you have available classes right now we have the bounty hunter we have engineer and we have scientist I'm gonna go with the bounty hunter just because I like the idea of double bonus from looting corpses as well but the engineer is pretty rad because he gives you a chance to repair items as well and you also get 10% more defensive power and toughness which isn't bad at all scientist is pretty gnarly too he gives you a lot of um crystals per turn which is actually really useful that I think about it because you do need crystals to open up more character slots for engagement and stuff like that the scientist is actually kind of making me consider using that now because it's really hard to come by crystals sometimes all right we'll start with the bounty hunter because I'm already used to it but I'll, I'll explain more about the crystals and the research here pretty soon so we'll go bounty hunter and we'll also go with the assault rifle this is the one I'm more comfortable with Senor Falco Oh no! Where's the O at? Fine, you know what? I got it, I got it. Senor Falco. Yeah, alrighty. Senor Falco, good to go. I could choose an icon for myself. Which one of these guys reminds you of Senor Falco? I like this guy. Just look at this fucking smiley, smirky face. You, you'd imagine this is the, the face I would be doing when I'm playing games over here, just being a complete smartass about shit. <laughs> just laughing at people. Um, let's start off with the research here, right? You'll have this whole entire tech tree skill to kind of work with. Um, but I like to start off with the basic workshop. What this will do is it'll give us access to the auto turrets. So essentially, instead of having to defend your borders or perimeters every single time by yourself, you can have some auto turrets kind of do the work for you as well. So we do need basic workshop to open that up. Perfect. How's the volume for this game? One second. I feel like... Okay, I'll probably have to edit the first part of the video because the sound might be too loud then, but hopefully it's fine now. Alright, so let's see here. Um, let me explain to you what's happening. So as you can see, we have a map over here. This is going to be our main base. At the moment here, we have area stuff that we could build. So for instance, the moment we get that basic workshop up and running from research, which is going to take four turns, we'll be able to build the workshop right here, and that's going to provide to us a production point every single turn. Uh, production point, as you can see, is used for constructing automatic defenses, which is what we need for the turrets. Um, economy points, these right here, are also affected by the buildings that you have. Certain buildings will have, like, um, I mean, all buildings will have some sort of bonus to them, correct? So, over here, this will be, once we scout it, we'll be able to tell how many production points it gives us, economic points, or economy points, and also the scientist ones. Um, and all these will have some sort of impact, so the economy ones will determine the amount of money you get each turn. Right now, with three points, we have 75 credits per turn. Uh, science determines how fast you will be able to research um, discovery technology. So the more scientist points we have or the research points we have, the faster we will, you know, complete researches and whatnot. Credits will be to buy stuff. Crystals are kind of like a combination of credits and just different things that we'll talk about later. The infrastructure um, determines when you could actually overrun an area. So at the moment, since we have three of three, it means that we could actually take over an area. If this was like, say, one of three or two of three, we'd have to wait until we meet the requirement to actually take over an area. So that's what that means. And over here, captured sectors, if we capture 20, we complete this map and we can move onwards, which is basically our goal here. And that's kind of like a small little quick rundown. I'll explain a bit things more as we proceed over here, but I wanted to give you a small little 
understanding of what the hell I'm going to be doing here going forward. So at the moment, we are going to go ahead and scout this map over here. Now that took 4 AP. We have 10 AP per turn. I think you might be able to increase it, increase it with different buildings and skills later, but at the moment we only have 10. So we can use 10 to scout. If the building is green, it means that it's clear. If it's red, there's zombies there or other type of mutants and stuff like that. So we know this is safe. Uh, we want to make sure that everything around our main base for the time being is not going to be invaded. So what I'd like to do is just scout everything around me. Although we do have to... You know what we should do? If we take over this building, we'll get signs one per turn. Nah, it's pretty shitty. Let's see what this one's about. This is going to be the laboratory. It gives us one signs per turn as well. Come on! Uh, I was hoping for like something that gets production and economy so we could get some money and also start building some turrets here. But now we've wasted two scouts. We were really down to two AP. So really can't do much at this point. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do uh, explore. With this one, it'll make you take us through to your entire area. And it'll trigger an event, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, sometimes neutral. As you can see over here, we lost 51 credits. You come across a group of teenagers asking for donations for a newly organized foundation for the recovery of traumatized teenage survivors. Swayed by their eloquent presentation, you donate, you donate a hefty amount of credits, only to find out a short time later that such an organization doesn't exist. Ah, I got swindled! Ha <laughs> ha, you jerks. Let's go ahead and end our turn because we're out of AP. And I'll explain more of these down the line once we start using them here. Okay, so, as you can see, here is our base. This is the only sector we have under our control. Over here, we have some zombie. We have lots of zombies, as <laughs> indicated by this thing here. So they have a chance now of pushing into our territory, and if they do that, we have to go into a real-time event where we have to actively fight zombies. So, that might happen. It might not. We'll see. At the moment, though, I can actually capture a building, but I'm looking for something better. What is this supposed to be? Let me scout it. Scout. Scout. Let it all out. These are the things I can scout without. Come on. I'm talking to you. Scout out. Okay, I'm sorry. What, you don't like Tears for Fears now? Oh, you don't like the way I sing it? Well, that's too bad now, isn't it, buddy? Anyway, uh, recycling sector is going to be one production and one science. Eh, you know, a little bit better. The production's fine. I'm looking for money, though. So here's the thing. If I scout this one, we're basically done with scouting or trying to take over something. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just um, reclaim this area. So by reclaiming this area, we got 399 credits, and we also got 25 crystals. And we also find items when you do that. So right now we found a rook grenade launcher, which requires big gun skills, too. We don't use big guns to begin with, but even if we did have big guns, we'd have to level ourselves up to two before we could use it. So anybody who wants to use this has to be a level two and big gun skill. And this will tell you the damage against armor, accuracy, firing. Believe me, this game is really in-depth. It's really surprisingly in-depth. I'm really enjoying it a lot. There's a lot of depth to this game, honestly. So with that done, there's not much else we can do. Um, if I want to recruit more people, I have to unlock a slot first, which requires 1,200 credits and also 200 crystals, which really have 25. So. The more crystals we have, obviously, the better, because we'll be able to unlock a second teammate. Early on, just you against a lot of zombies, really bad for your health. Uh, let me go ahead, and I doubt they'll attack us just yet, so I'll do one more exploration. Oh, good. You give a misplaced order for the disposal of some dangerous radioactive materials. The waste is dumped in an area largely populated by the enemy. Although most analysis insists that there is no concern, a few have warned you that unwanted effects might include interaction of some substance with neuro... Uh, necrotic muscle, making it somewhat more powerful. Enemy damage has been increased by one for one turn. Oh no, I hope they don't attack after all. <laughs> oh boy, that was a bad idea on our part. Now, um, what I could have done if I didn't want to go ahead and um, do a stroll, I could have gone and used maintain weapons. What this will do is it'll boost your weapon damage by 10% for one turn. So say for instance these guys attacked us in the end of the turn, we would have a 10% more increase to damage against them. It's not too much, but it's something. And then this over here is if you want to if you have an excess amount of crystals, you can actually turn them into credits as well. Normally, I won't be doing that. And this is over here going to recruit members, and I do want to recruit members. However, the problem is we need money and also crystals to unlock a second slot. So at the moment, we can't really do much over here. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Please don't attack me as yet. No attack. No attack. Good. All right, so back up to 10. We can also now take care of another infrastructure if we want to. Let me come over here and scout this one out. This is going to be for economy here. <laughs> economy. <laughs> economy. 
The problem with what happened there was I was going fast and then I decided to stop. So I just kind of threw the entire pitch out of proportion. I assure you, it's not that I can't say economy. It's kind of like that issue I was having with, um, what was it? Tube Tycoon, we were saying record, it was record? Record, yeah. I was calling and recording a video, a recorded video. Yeah. Anyway, it's not my fault they're spelled the same way, goddammit. Anyway, let's see here. 6 AP. This worries me a bit. The problem is basic workshop is still one more turn, so we'll get it pretty soon. Uh, 6 of 10. What is this one? I mean, we could essentially start scouting the ones next to this building here, too. I'm looking for something with a lot of production, or not a lot of production, but at least production and economy would be more ideal than just a 1 and a 1 here. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and scout through here. Actually, away from the zombies would be better. So, what do you have for me? You are a trading post, meaning one economy as well. Ah, uh, shit. Alrighty, with the last two AP, we're going to go ahead and do a maintain weapons in case we get attacked. I hope we don't. Like, me by myself against zombies right now would be pretty bad. I do need an AI character. Basic workshop has been done. Perfect. So now we can start building some of these and those empty wrench slots that we talked about. So the next thing we need is obviously auto turrets. That's going to help me out quite a lot. Uh, ten turns remaining. You got it. Alrighty, so that's what we're researching now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scout this area after all. This is gonna be- Oh my goodness god, the Academy. Four research and one production. We want this. We absolutely want this. Let me take care of it now. 269 credits and 23 crystals. And I found a survivor! Yes! Somebody joined me for free. So now, um, when we do recruit care, um, survivors, you have to pay them to come aboard. Now, with finding a survivor, they're going to hang out in our barracks until we actually open up the second slot. So now we're doing really good. This guy is also a bounty hunter. He uses a machine gun instead, though. Agile, big guns, corpse loot. Actually, I think we have a big guns weapon for him. So whenever he levels up, we have a better weapon for him already. This is actually amazing. Yeah, recruit him for free. And, oh, because we recruited or we took care of that area, we also got an item. It's going to be the Gamma Laser Pistol. Alrighty, well... I can't use it because I'm not really proficient in energy weapons, so for now we'll put it away. That's cool. Uh, we haven't talked about the merchant. There is a merchant in town as well. Now, what I would like to have is some grenades. So, of course, no grenades for sale, huh? Grenades are really useful whenever you're in a pinch. You have, like, zombies, like, piling up on your per perimeter. You can just toss them and blow them up. Give you some room to breathe, but unfortunately... We cannot use that, or this person doesn't have any grenades for sale. Hmm... Rifles, too. I mean, I do want to unlock the second slot as soon as possible, but we could also spend a little bit here. That repairs barricade health. We haven't talked about just yet. We could actually start increasing our accuracy, though. Accuracy mod 1, plus 10 accuracy. We could put that in our gun over here, and this is going to be for armor piercing. Damage and accuracy mods would be a 1,000 for t to both of them, my gun. I guess that could be useful. And we also have the mines that are throwable. They're not exactly grenades, which are instantly, but I guess they could be useful. Now, I'm going to wait for some grenades. I really want to pick these two up for my gun, though. At least the accuracy one could be useful, so I'll spend 500 and put that into my gun. Alrighty. So we have two AP left over. Let's do a stroll around the area. What am I, just cursed? Nothing but negative events non-stop, huh? You give a misplaced order? Oh, this is the radioactive one again. Enemy speed has been increased by 10% for one turn. Oh, please don't attack me now. The last thing I need you guys is moving faster to my barricades. Let me end turn, please. Please, please have mercy. Have mercy. Alrighty. The zombies from here have moved away, it does seem great. But now there are some over on this side. Okay. Uh, we could also take care of another building. What do we want? I need some economy coming in, dog. This is the only economy one right here. <laughs> Stop calling it economy! It's economy! I need the economy ones. Let's see. I wonder if you can tell what these are just by the way the building looks, you know? Like, this is a, a recycling center? What would this be? This looks like a city, man. I feel like this one might have some economy to it. The only problem is that we have to either capture one of these before we unlock that one. Yeah. What about this one? I'm not sure what the hell that is, but... Either one of these will work, I guess? Let's do the one up here. Economy and five production of science. Jesus, yes, I want that one too. I wish we had more production points, so I'm not going to lie to you. These auto turrets really require the production points, and 
the auditories are really helpful early on. Oh well, I guess for now we'll take care of this building as well. 425 credits and 24 crystals. What do we find? Oh, we found nothing here. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Alrighty. Merchant, do you have anything different for sale? Grenades! Yes, thank you. Okay, so now I'll buy those for a fact. And I could sell you some shit too. You know what? As much as I like the idea of this energy weapon, I think I'm going to sell it. I'm going to hold this gun on for Gonzalo whenever he decides to join us. So for now, I'll sell that to you. And what else do you have here? Cluster bomb. Could be useful. Armor piercing. Ammo mod. And a damage mod plus five. No, I think I'll hold on to what we have here. So we're to a thousand. Alrighty. We have two more AP left over. Let's do a throw. Come on, give me some good luck, baby. Jesus Christ! What's happening? I keep getting the same, um event over and over. This has never happened before. There's like a multiple amount of events. I have just been really unlucky suddenly. I'm getting the same uh, radioactive event over and over. I'm not sure what that's all about. There's like tons of different events. I'm not sure why that one's happening over and over now. It's kind of weird. Um, Alright, so we end our turn. I hope we don't get attacked, but it just might be around time. Nope, not just yet. Great. So now we have a lot of research or a lot of research points coming in. So we have two more turns until the turret is done, which is fine. Uh, what do you guys think this one is? Let me scout here. That's going to be production one, and also zombies, mind you, which is right next to my location. And let me... Here we go. Production one and science one. I, I guess I'll have to take that one at some point, man, because we need some more production coming in. Yeah. So we'll go after this one. It's really weird, like in my last run that I did off camera to test the game out, I was having a lot of production points but no science ones, and now it's completely different. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have two more points left over. I'm so worried about doing another stroll that I'm going to go ahead and maintain my weapons, and hopefully, you know, if we do get attack, I have a bit of an extra boost here. No attack, but we have two zombies right on my perimeter, so that's no good. Luckily, we'll have our auto turrets up and running after one more turn, so I, I do feel more secure about that one. We need to definitely pick this building up, but we also have to wait till we get the infrastructure for it. So, next turn we'll be able to take care of this residential area. With my points now, though, let's see. Mm, no, none of that just yet. 200 crystals, we are 72. <laughs> I want that second person already. Alrighty, let's take care of the... Actually, we can't. So, I guess we just scout a bit more. Let's scout up here. Another production one, fine. And let's scout over here. Three and one! There you go! Urban power plant. That's the one we're going after. Forget the residential district. This is the one. That is the one right here. Oh, and speaking of which, I I'm a moron because I could essentially now help myself out with production because, check this out, if I go over to my stronghold or any building that I've taken care of, we could actually start building the basic workshop. So for 500, I'll get one production per turn. So we'll do that here. And don't want to waste all my money on this. And fuck it. Let's do another one. All right, cool. So now we'll have more um, production points coming in per turn because of our basic workshops. We still have two more AP. Let me go ahead and do a maintain weapon because I feel like we're about to get attacked soon. Should have already happened, but... Nah, hasn't happened. We got four crystals by finishing the auto turret as well. Alrighty, so now the next thing I'd like to do is go into basic trading posts for eco uh, economy. <laughs> Don't start again. For economy. Cool. And let's see. We can now also take care of a building, which is going to be the urban power plant. So take care of that one. 262, 20 more credits. Great. We're at 96 crystals. At 200, we get to unlock the second slot and get Gonzalo into the party. And apparently, most of the zombies have gone except for this one. Uh oh, limpers are now starting to gather up over here, too. Ooh. I could attack them ahead of time if I had enough infrastructure, but I don't. So I'm going to have to hold off on that one. Alrighty. Well, 6 AP. Let's do a scout through here. Production and economy 1. That's not bad. We might go after that one next, then. Yeah, and two more AP. Let's do a maintain weapon. So I'm so sure. All oh, right, we have the um, the turrets now. So with the production points you have accumulated, you can essentially have how many turrets you're going to be built. And the more production points you have, the better because you have more turrets built around your entire perimeter, not just one area, but all over your um, acquired location so far. Um, so obviously, the more points you have, the more better you will do. But right now, since we only have ten points available. 
we will have a rate of 5, cost is 2, and our toughness is 38, and the power is 18. So the more points, the better. Pretty simple right here. You could also buy turrets in the fly if you needed them, too, but uh, we're kind of broke, so I'll hold off on that one. Ooh, boy. Wow, we finished that um, trading post really fast because of our high research numbers now. But, at the same time, we have zombies all over our perimeters. Ooh, boy. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is actually set up the... Reduces scouting action points cost by one. So essentially with this one here, whenever I scout instead of four points, we'll use a three. So I like to do that a lot because I scout very often too. So there you go. Um, so that's going to take 13 turns apparently. We'll see if that's really the case. And 7 of 11 infrastructure. We're almost about time to start wrapping up this episode as well. But let's see here. Zombies limpers, zombies limpers, and zombies limpers. Yeah. These are the basic enemies. As you progress forward and further into the game, you'll run into a lot of different type of monsters too, which are... I don't want to spoil it for you just yet, but... Um, Alright. I guess for now, let's scout through here. It's going to be a one and one. And we'll scout over here. It's going to be a, a one in economy. And two AP left over. I think we have to maintain weapons again. I really need to start strolling around the, the area more too. I want to wrap up this episode with a, a zombie attack, though, so I want to show you some of the combat here. So I'll extend this episode a bit longer than usual just for that. Alright. We could actually take over a building, and we said we want it. What do we want? I, I already picked up the one I wanted, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Well, we have a 1 and 1 over here, which is actually pretty decent, so let's go ahead and pick up the residential area. 271 credits, 22 more crystals, and we found... An ammo mod for 10% more ammo. Perfect. We'll use it on our gun as soon as possible. Boom. All right. And let's see. 120 credits. We have 6 AP left over. Let's go into... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of scouting, let's do some walks around. I need some good... You are in... <laughs> I'm just... I'm... I'm bamboozled. I am aghast that we cannot get a good event at all. You are informed of a fire which has broken out in a storage facility. You quickly arrive at the spot and try along with everybody else to try to put it out. Your efforts are proven adequate. The building is safe, but most of its contents are destroyed. The unfortunate events will hinder your expansion efforts. Your infrastructure has been decreased by one. Oh, fuck you. Okay, let's try my luck again. A stranger approaches you and urges you to take a look at their wares, having nothing better to do at the moment. You agree to browse their store. Oh, cool. Well... This doesn't do much for me because I'm kind of broke, too. Get out of here! I just want a good event where I find money on the street. Like, is that so much to ask? Money on the street? I found a piece of equipment. You discover a piece of equipment in an excellent condition in the parking space of a neoclassical building. Taking a quick look around, you grab it and leave. Finders keepers, right? And what do we get? We got a resource scanner, one equipment, plus their infrastructure. I have no idea what you do, but I'm quite excited about you, so I will definitely grab you. I like the idea of three infrastructure, you know? Okay, so let's do, just in case, a little bit more of the old production here. Oh, we can do the... Uh, oh, you know what? Money. Yes, money's good. Let's do a basic trading post for 500, and we'll do one over here as well. So we're kind of broke, but that's okay, because we're still waiting for... 200 crystals to recruit a second person. So with this, let's go ahead and end our turn. And we have a few extra more points over here to toss around to my turrets. Do that. Okay, here's our attack as I mentioned, guys. Oh my goodness god, and we got... Oh no, we, we don't have to fight. Our turrets held them off. So this would have been pretty bad because on my own, I would not have been able to take care of a zombie... A pack, limpers, and crawlers at the same time. I would have been overrun myself. I need a backup. This way. I want to get the second person. But because we have auto turrets now, they actually help you out in thinning out the numbers before they attack you. So the auto turrets were enough to hold off. So we had 15. We did lose 7, so now we're down to 8 turrets. But at least it saved us for now. Perfect. Now we could get attacked twice. We only got attacked once. Okay. It's still not the real-time combat I wanted to show off, but you know what? We've been here long enough for the first episode, so I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot. Description below, below will have all the information you require for this game. It comes out on the 26th, if I'm correct, over here. I will catch you next time.